This next part of 6.3 is going to talk about trig involving non-right triangles. And the reason why this is important is because in real life, not every single triangle we deal with is a right triangle. So we need to find a way to use our prior knowledge and adapt it to our new situation. Because that's, well, that's really what problem solving in math in general is all about, right? Using our prior knowledge and adapting it to a new situation. So <clears throat> one of the ways we can do that is with what we call the law of signs. And sometimes you might hear it called the sign law or the sign rule. But it all means the same thing. So in that case, I'm given a triangle that has sides a, b, and c, and the angles are also a, b, and c. And just remember that we use uppercase letters, capital letters for angles, lowercase letters for side lengths, and sides and angles that have the same letter are opposite each other, right? So angle a is opposite side a, and so on. So the way this works with the law of sines is that it happens that the ratio of the sine of an angle to its opposite side is equal for any side and an opposite angle. So sine A over A is equal to sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. And our book, definitely our book, maybe just, and definitely other resources I'm sure, will show this in reverse. They'll show this upside down. So they'll show it as A over sine A equal to b over sine b equal to c over sine c. And this doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to use all three ratios, but it tells us that I can take any two and they're all going to be equal to each other. Um, all three are equal to each other, so I can always pick the two I need based on whatever information that I have so far. Um, and that's going to help us solve for a triangle. And the way that we're going to use this is one of two cases. I'm either going to be given we call angle, angle, side, right? And this is where I have two angles and one side. Usually an opposite side, but it doesn't have to be. And I'll show you why in a minute. And then side, side, angle. And this is where kind of the placement really matters um, of the letters here. Two sides and a non-included angle. So that's the key, right? That just means that if I'm given, say, B and C, then I can't also be given A if I want to use the law of sines because it's the angle that comes between B and C. So I can't use the law of sines in that case because I don't have enough information. But if I was given, like, B, C, and C, or B, C, and B, then that would be a case where I could use my law of sines. So let's go through this example, and I guess I deleted the triangle by mistake. So given the triangle that I'm about to put back onto the screen, I want to find its missing sides. So let's see, we've got A, B, and C. And I know that angle A is going to be 31 degrees, and I know that angle C is going to be 44 degrees. And I'm given that side A is 10 centimeters. Well, this is an angle angle side case right because I'm given two angles angle A and angle C and I'm given a side side A so the easiest place to start and I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit just so I have some extra room to work but the easiest place to start is by finding the third angle because we know that the sum of the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I've got 34 plus four, uh, 31 plus 44, which is 75, plus B, which is the angle that's missing, is equal to 180. So I know that B is 105. And one thing I like to do as I come up with information, I like to mark it into my triangle. It's just, it's a more helpful visual for myself, I think. At this point now, I want to use my law of sines, and it doesn't matter which angle I start or side I start by solving. Um, we'll find C first, and I picked it arbitrarily. It doesn't matter which one we start with. If I want to find sine C over C, um, well, I need to know I need another ratio that I have both parts of the fraction for, and that would be the one that relates sine of A to the side A. So sine A over a, right? Because sure enough, uh, 
about sine c over c, so I have sine of 44 degrees over c, which I'm solving for. I don't know what c is. And that's going to be equal to sine of a, which is 31 degrees, divided by a, which is 10 centimeters. And I can go ahead and rearrange this. And by doing all my algebra, I eventually get c is equal to 10 sine 44 divided by sine of 31, which is not really helpful yet. So let me simplify this. I'll use my calculator, or I did it ahead of time. And I get 13.5 centimeters if I round to three significant figures. And again, as I go, this is more for myself. I like to write it in just so I can kind of keep track of the sides that I found and the sides that I still need to find. And I have to do this one more time. Again, I can't cheat and use the Pythagorean theorem here because I don't have a right triangle. So I can't, the Pythagorean theorem doesn't apply. So the next thing I need to find is angle is side B. And when I do that, I want to pick something that I know all the information for, preferably something that I was given, I was given all the information for. And that's because we don't want to introduce too much rounding error into our problems just because it could affect our answer for other parts of the problem later on. So if we always stick with information we were given, then we won't have to worry about accounting for rounding error in our problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of fill in what I know. I don't know side B, but I know that a is 31 degrees. And I know that side A is 10 centimeters. And again, by doing some algebra, I'm going to get 10 sine 105 over sine of 31. And you just plug that into your calculator. Make sure that you are in degree mode. And you're going to get 18.8 .8 centimeters. Again, three significant figures in that case for, for rounding, 18.8 .8 centimeters. So be careful of degree mode, right? I'm given degrees, so I want to make sure I'm staying in degrees. Just be careful of that, but that's all I need to do. Um, we're going to use the law of signs as many times as we need to to find all the missing pieces that we need, and it's just relating those proportions.